What up folks, it's Alex here. Right, I've had some questions on YouTube and on Facebook, so I figured the best way to answer them would be with a really quick video. So, let's get straight to it. The first question is regarding how do I rearrange my media bin? How do I tidy my media bin up and make it a little bit more useful? So we're gonna have a look at that first. So in DaVinci Resolve, I've added a bunch of these video clips to this bin. So they're all ready to use when I want to start editing. Now, if you click on this icon here, you can rearrange the order. So by default, it'll be set to this, which is the file name. So we can see it's all in alphanumerical order. Now I can change that to be, it's ascending at the moment, I can change that to be descending if needs be. There's loads of other options, duration, type, FPS, etc. A really useful one is date modified. So if you've got a bunch of videos and you just want the latest first, you can put that in date modified or date created, put it in descending, and the most recent videos will be at the top. So that's a handy way to reorder them. And then you can also tag the clips with certain things which you can then order on. So what I'm gonna do is click on this clip here. Now on the right hand side in metadata, you'll see you've got the file name and then some information about the clip and that sort of thing. If you click on this icon here, you can actually change what you're looking at. Now I wanna to go to shot and scene. Now here you can enter a load of descriptions. So you get descriptions, comments, keywords, colors, shot, scene, take, etc. So you can number these if you need to. There's also flags, which is what I sometimes like to use. So I've got this file here, number 19. I'm gonna say this is a blue one. I'm gonna put this one as a blue one as well. We'll put this one as a yellow one. This one as a red, etc. So if you've got a bunch of clips and you can say, right, the clips relating to this certain thing are blue and there are ones relating to this or orange, you just tag them accordingly. And then you can click on this icon here again. This time go to flags and it will order them by the flag. So it's just another way of ordering this bin so that everything is in the order that you want it to be. Now the alternative to that and the way I prefer to work is if you either right click here or just on an empty space here, you can add a bin. So I'm going to add a bin and I'm just gonna put intro. Now a bin is essentially a folder. So if I add another one, There's three folders. I've got an intro, a main, and an outro. Now if I go back to my master, I can select these clips and I can just drag them into my intro. I'll select these, these could be my main, and these four could be my outro. And it just tidies things up. So I'm gonna open the intro and there they are. Here's the videos in my main folder and here's the videos in my outro. And it's just a nice way to tidy up your bin, which just makes it easier to work with. When you go to edit, there they are. So there's the master, I can see it, the folders in there. And I can go to each individual folder so I know exactly where the videos are which I want to use. So I hope that helps. Question number two was how do I insert clips onto the timeline without overwriting what's already there? So I'm gonna go to this bin here. I'm gonna find a bunch of clips, add them all to my timeline. So all these clips are on my timeline, one by one, nothing too exciting. And if I hit play, it'll just scroll through. Now let's say that I want to add a different clip right here in between number three and number 12. So let's grab number eight. If I drag that and plonk it there, you'll see what it actually does is overwrite everything that's already there, which is not what I want. So I'm going to undo that. Now if I drag my marker, just plunk it between those clips, and there's three icons here. There's insert clip, there's overwrite clip, and there's replace clip. Yeah. And they all have shortcuts, F9, F10, and F11. So, I wanna insert a clip. So I'm gonna set my marker there, I'm gonna highlight the clip I want to insert from my bin, and I'm just gonna click on insert clip. And as you can see, it shifts everything to the right, and it just drops the clip in the middle without overwriting anything. And that's the easiest way to drop a clip in without overwriting or deleting anything. Now, the other ones, 
over right clip is essentially the same as dragging and dropping. So I can put my mark where I want it to, hit number eight, give that one a click, and that will do essentially the exact same as dragging and dropping. Now you can also replace clip. So if I click on this one here, so this is number 12, click on number eight, because I want to replace it, hit the replace, and number 12 is now number eight. And it just replaces it like for like. Now it will trim it, so it will trim the video you've added to be the same length as the one that was there before. So you may need to adjust it so you can add the clip without overwriting anything or, or causing any issues. And that's it, that's the easiest way to add clips to your timeline without overwriting things. Now the third request, the third and final request, was what's the best way to work with and export 4K video files for YouTube? The first thing you wanna to want to do before you do anything is click on the cog here and make sure that the timeline resolution is set to the resolution you want. So in our case, we're gonna set it to 4K, which is this 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. I'm gonna save that. Now, I'm gonna add some video files, drag them on there, and you'd edit your video, do what you need to do, and then you go to deliver, same as normal. Now there is an option to do a YouTube 2160, but I'm not a fan of that. I don't think it's a particularly good setting. So, I'm gonna to go to custom, I'm going to go to video. The format is set to QuickTime. We want to set that to MP4. Now, in the description below, there's a link to the Google YouTube help document which tells you exactly the file format you need. Now, it says that you need MP4 and the codec should be H.264, which it is. Next off, you need to check your resolution. So you just change that accordingly to whatever you want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as Ultra HD because I want to export at 4K. Now the big one here is this, quality. Now by default, this sets to automatic and best, which will give you very, very good image quality, but it also give you a ginormous file size. So the best thing to do is to click on restrict to, and then you need to set that manually. Now the bitrate will depend on the frame rate that you've used. If you filmed in a standard frame rate, i.e. somewhere between 24 and 30, then you should set that to 35 to 45 megabits per second. If you've recorded at 48 to 60, it can be higher and it can be 53 to 68 megabits per second. Now this is kilobits per second. So we just times the megabits by a thousand to give us our kilobits. So 35 to 45 megabits per second equates to, so 35,000. So you can pop in 35,000 there Add to render queue, choose your location, and then render that. And that will essentially be in the perfect format and the perfect bitrate for uploading to YouTube. And that's the best way to handle 4K video footage for YouTube. And that's it. Real quick video, just answering those handful of questions. If you like this format, you like this sort of Q&A, me answering some quick questions, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe as always and if you've got any questions pop them down below and i'll see if i can use them for my q a next time around thanks again peace